This is the Spartan Obstacle Challenge presented by Fit Aid. The next challenge is the barbed wire crawl, testing speed, aggression, and a little bit of technique. You want to catch momentum in between each line. You're doing awesome, so you're going fast. To be successful at CrossFit, you have to be willing to adapt to different workouts. So you have to be willing to try things you've never done before, and really just step outside your comfort zone. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's every kind of obstacle is going to go against you. There's never a real comfort zone. Some of the hardest challenges when it's just everything in your body telling you not to do this, you're just going to have to take that next step. It's dirty. Oh. It's a dirty obstacle. I hate it. <laughs> but you know what? This is what makes us tough. What attracted me the most at, at the first Spartan race I ever did was the fact that I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Every obstacle that we do in a Spartan race, we have to tackle it. Because if we don't tackle it, we suffer from it. It's the same thing in CrossFit. The will to win is the same across the board. I personally think it's important to push your body to new limits. If you push your body to new limits, it kind of shows you what you're capable of and then it transfers over into your everyday life. Athletes, are we ready to rock? Ready, ready. We all know the rules. The athletes are gonna head down through the barbed wire, out to the other side, around that flag, sprint it home, and tag off with their teammate. First team for both athletes to finish will be your winner. All right, who's going first? Ladies, to your marks. Get set, let's go! Whoa, quick snag from Emily right out of the gate on the first bar, but she's off and going. Took a little bit of assistance out of Isaiah. Perez is turning a little bit. Emily is keeping her straight line a little more solid, and the ladies are now neck and neck as they head through the halfway point. Still rolling the entire way. You'd be surprised at the amount of core strength that this requires to navigate through here. Now the difference is gonna be when they come out the other side, these ladies are not used to it and they might be a little bit dizzy, but they are still right beside one another as they come through the finish of the crawl itself, the roll, both utilizing the roll because it's a lot of ab strength, but it's less use of the legs, it's quicker, it's half the energy. You can see that Perez is quite dizzy. She's having a little bit of trouble. She did not quite make it around the flag, but she's sprinting it home. Emily Bridgers with a big lead right now, and Isaiah, he is one of the best barbed wire crawlers in the business. He's so aggressive with his technique. Hunter hugging the edge, and Isaiah seems to have hit a snag. Hunter is gaining on him, but Isaiah's right at the ship. He is almost out the other side. It's only a few seconds to separate him. Hunter is snagged as well. He's losing valuable seconds, valuable time. Isaiah sprinted it home to the finish line right now. And we have Isaiah Vidal finishing it up for Team Black. Hunter is losing some time right now. He needs to sprint it home. Every second does count in this race. And right now, Team Black looks like they'll have a commanding lead after the second obstacle challenge. Where'd you get to? Future base? Yeah. I don't think your mom's gonna like that one. Dude. He ain't, he ain't bleeding, he ain't racing. <laughs> it's definitely different than anything I've ever done before. <laughs> All right, guys, well, Team Black, that was one heck of a performance, guys. Just so we're clear, Team Black gapped you guys, Red Team, by 16 seconds on that obstacle. So they went from down three seconds to now holding a 13 second lead as we head into the next yeah. challenge. <laughs> Great job from Team Black. Yeah, I'm trying to show you people this is what it takes to be a champion. I was willing to stick my face in the barbed wire.